Hi, Hunter and Brandon. We're studying torque today. We've just finished up a lab, and we want to get to a position where we can do a few problems. I've got problems, you've got problems. So we start today, you're taking notes on the handout that I just gave you on called Day 3 Torque. And you're going to start, you don't have torque unless you have a spot. So give yourself a spot. Wait, Miss Powell? Another, oh, yes. Oh, my name's, my name's uh, I think I'll be able to figure it out. Okay. Yo! Yo! Yo, guys, beep this! Look who got an 80 on this test. Me. 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 The spot has a name, and Shout it's called about. the Axis of Rotation. Right, never mind that. Axis of Rotation. So far, our, the study in Newton's second law, everything has been uh, translational. Nothing has been rotating. So we're going to have things going around in circles. Axis of rotation. So we're moving from translational movement to rotational movement. So axis of rotation. So you're expecting rotational movement. So you can't have anything going in a circle unless there's a spot around which it is circling. So that is called the axis of rotation. So let's go ahead and circle around it now. There we have the axis of rotation, and we have something that is circling it. Just for kicks, can something be having experiencing rotational mo mo movement, motion, and translational mo motion at the same time? Can it? Hopefully, because uh, that's what your tires did to get you here today. So the axis of rotation has rotational moment. We're not going to movement. We're not going to combine the two right now. Just look at rotational. We're going to give this rotation. We're going to. I'm going to expand that circle. And when I do that, I'm going to add a line from the axis of rotation to uh, this by this line. So let me get that going. I'll just start another spot. <laughs> All right. So from the spot, I'm going to come out with a line. We're building toward torque. There's no torque here yet. We're just defining basically the axis of rotation. So this is my new axis of rotation, but I've added a line. So that line is an imaginary line drawn from the axis of rotation to where our force is applied. So I'm going to apply a force. And notice that force is applied perpendicularly to that line. What should I call the line? I know. I'll call it a lever arm. So, the lever arm. <laughs> so the line Bruh. is imaginary. The lever arm is not imaginary. It's going to be a wrench, or it's going to be some object that's going to move a seesaw, or right some kind It'll of be a scale. Lever arm. But for now, we're being theoretical. We just have an imaginary line called the lever arm. It comes out of the axis of rotation. When it starts to move, you see its motion will go along this path. Hopefully your circles is, is better than mine. The force applied here at the end of the lever arm is perpendicular. There must be two things. I, it has to have this lever arm and the force applied to it. When we have those two things, we have torque. So let's define torque. That's our big deal today. Torque you. It's not pronounced torque you. <laughs> let's define it. It's the tendency of a force to cause rotational moment, movement. Notice I say tendency. It's kind of a vague word, isn't it? I'm talking why we're going to call it that. It's the tendency of a force to cause rotational movement. That's often how you see it defined, and it's kind of vague when you see tendency, like, well, what is it or it isn't? Tendency seems a little vague. However, what we're saying when we say tendency is this setup, it has to be there, and a force has to be there 
and this rotational motion has to be there. But torque is not a force. It's a combination of a force in this situation. So when you have that, they call it a tendency. So it's a strange word to have in a scientific definition. So torque is not a force. It is two things. It is, I'll give you, the definition probably will make better, make it more clear. Torque is often written with this sort of uh, fancy T. It's going to be the force perpendicular. I'll put a little note there to mean perpendicular. So it's the force applied perfect perpendicular times the length of the lever arm. Why would I call the length of the lever arm R? Yeah, because it's, it, it, if you draw the circular movement, you will see that it takes the same place as the radius would in a circle. So that's the formula for torque. Torque equals force perpendicular times the radius, which is, radius is just the length of the lever arm. Let's draw an everyday example of torque. Draw a bolt. Say we have kind of bolt here and wrapped around it is a wrench. You can draw a simplified version like mine. So this is a very typical example of torque. The axis of rotation is in the center of the oh, bolt. Torque it. There's the axis of rotation, so we're part way there. We have to have one axis of rotation. Here's the lever arm. It goes from there to there. The lever arm is... Is it lever or lever? They say lever arm, but you may say lever. Okay, because they... Fall. <laughs> It's like one of those things you put under the tire, like when you pop a tire and then you like crank it. What is that? I don't know what it's called, but... Crowbar? No. It's not a crowbar, it's like... It, it's like something, I don't know, but it's like clink, 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 clink. Yeah, that's the jack. Because that's what it looks like. It's like, it's like you have to put one of those on the bolts for the um, hubcap. Yep, yeah. right. So you're, free, you're using torque there. Because that's what it looked like you were drawing. And that's All right, so now the force drawing. is coming from the hand. And it's mm. going to be pulling the wrench good in that direction. Look at that hand. And it will create a force. Steve, would you look at it'll that hand? A torque. Mm. So the force is applied perpendicularly, and we have torque. Yeah, there. we're twerking now. Torque now. So we have a force applied <laughs> perpendicularly at a radius. Oh, oh, that is the distance from 